Caulfield is listening to that, the MP for Lewis. Hello, Maria. Good morning. I mean, this is a worry, isn't it? You know, we are now becoming one of the frontline entry points into uh, the UK. Well, this isn't a new problem. This has been ongoing for many months, if not, um, you know, for a couple of years now. I mean, earlier this year, we uh, there were seven migrants found in the back of a lorry at New Haven that had come across on the ferry and were picked up by the Border Force staff um, and were taken off the, the, the lorry and, um, you know, were... Um, questioned and then uh, sent back and as a result of that the national crime agency has actually arrested a gang of people smugglers um you know that were had, had smuggled over 70 people over to the uk so there's a huge amount of work going on and while new haven um is being targeted that's not new that's been going on for, for a little while now right okay uh, i suppose i mean it was interesting to uh, hear how the police do uh, some of the checks with uh, things things like the uh, CO2 sensors. They've got cameras that they can feed into these uh, lorries. It, it looks like we're, we're, we're doing as, as, as much as we can. Do you, do, you, do you think we're doing enough? Well, there's a lot of work going on. Uh, the National Crime Agency are obviously um, working very closely with French um, authorities because um, I think it was Kate, Kate Gibbs who said earlier that this isn't happening necessarily at the ports. Uh, migrants are uh, boarding lorries on motorways um, away from the ports and are hiding quite deeply into lorries. And then they're not um, coming off at the ports either. They're waiting until they get down to the N25 uh, at service stations and then hopping off there. So um, while this is a port issue, this is a bigger issue than that. And there's a lot of work going on trying to um, find how um, people are getting onto the lorries, uh, what, where, which are the access points and exit points. But also there's new legislation that's come in to, um, to uh, make uh, it tougher for people then to kind of escape into the country once they have got here. So, you know, landlords who are not doing proper checks on their tenants, employers who are taking on illegal immigrants, because it isn't just the people traffickers who are um, encouraging this, it's, you know, the offer of work, the offer of accommodation as well. So there's a multi-agency approach to this. Thank you for that. Just before you go, can I just ask a question about Southern Southern Rail? And uh, in the new year, we're expecting a, you know more action from Aslis, which which is going to cripple the, the Southern trains again. There are more reports in the papers today that behind the scenes, uh, buses are being laid laid on with uh, perhaps even potentially army drivers. Can you can you help us out with that? Well, the, there was a, a meeting with the prime minister earlier this week, and there's. Um, a number of options being looked at. I mean, I obviously called uh, for the army a few weeks ago not to drive the trains, just to make that clear, but to provide uh, bus replacement services because in, in my constituency, we only have Southern, so when there's no trains, you cannot get anywhere. Um, and you just can't leave people stranded. You know, there's nine days of strike action between uh, middle of December and middle of January. But does it look like they've listened then? Do you, do you think well, your ideas are going? Well, it's certainly being um, considered, uh, and I think there's a lot of work going on now between uh, now and Christmas, so there are plans in place if these strikes aren't called off um, in the new year, because we can't just leave people um, stranded without any transport services. So there's a number of options being considered. When will we know? Um, I think pretty quickly. Um, Chris Grayling is doing a huge amount of work, and obviously the Prime Minister is taking a personal interest in this, um, because if the unions are adamant they're not going to call off these strikes, we need to have um, some contingency plans in place for people. And but, that will be in January, yeah? Yeah. Well, that, that's what they're, they're working on, and I'm, well, I'm hoping there'll be announcements on that fairly soon. Thank you very much, Marie Caulfield, there.